when forces are applied to a material, it tends to deform. For example, there are two forces acting on this snowboard, the weight of the snowboarder and the ramp. Both of these forces deform the snowboard by bending it. This deformation is visible. However, deformation is not always apparent. Here, we don't see the skateboard deforming. Yet, the skateboard is subject to the same forces as the snowboard. The tendency of a material to deform when a force is applied to it is called a constraint. There are different types of constraints. Compression, tension, torsion, deflection, and shearing. Compression is a constraint that tends to crush materials. Compression forces move toward each other. Compression is represented with this symbol. For example, if we compress a spring, in other words, if forces are applied from opposite directions towards the inside of the spring, the coils move closer to each other. Compression forces are also present in the pillars of a viaduct. This is because the surface of the bridge applies a downward force on the pillars, while the ground applies an upward force to the pillars to support them. Under this pressure, the pillar tends to deform. But depending on the choice of a material, the deformation is not visible. Tension, on the other hand, is a constraint that tends to stretch materials. It is the opposite of compression. Tension forces move in opposite directions. Tension is represented by this symbol. For example, if tension forces are applied to a spring, meaning forces pulling in opposite directions are applied to the outer ends of the spring, the coils will move away from each other. Tension forces are also present in water skiing, among other activities. The person on skis pulls the rope which is dragged by the boat driver. The skier applies a force to one end of the rope, while the boat exerts a force in the opposite direction at the other end of the rope. Torsion is a constraint that tends to twist materials. One or two parallel forces are applied to an object so that it rotates around an axis. Torsion is represented by this symbol. This constraint is present when wringing a towel. A force is applied to one end of the towel and a parallel force in the opposite direction at the other end of the towel. Both ends make rotational movements in opposite directions. We therefore represent torsion with this symbol. There is also a torsion constraint on a screwdriver when tightening a screw. The hand applies a force that turns the screwdriver in one direction, while the screw, which resists this force, applies a force in the opposite direction. Deflection is a constraint that tends to bend or curve an object. Deflection can be represented using one or more force arrows depending on the situation. For example, Take a person standing on the end of a springboard. The person's weight acts on the springboard due to gravity. Since the other end of the springboard is attached, the force applied by the person is the force that will bend the springboard. In the case of an acrobat standing on a bar held by two people, the forces are represented differently, but this is still referred to as deflection. The acrobat, applies a force towards the ground at the center of the bar, while each person carrying the bar applies an upward force to each end of the bar. Lastly, shearing is a constraint that tends to tear or split materials. These are two parallel forces in opposite directions, but slightly shifted apart from each other. Shearing is represented by this symbol. This is the case when using a hole punch to pierce a sheet of paper. The upper part exerts a downward force, while the lower part exerts an upward force. These two forces are slightly shifted, causing the sheet to tear. 
This is also the constraint that is applied to a pin supporting a bookshelf. The weight of the shelf applies a downward force to one half of the pin, while the bracket applies an upward force on the other half of the pin. In summary, materials can be subjected to constraints such as compression, tension, torsion, deflection, and shearing. These are represented by large hollowed out arrows.